Today I'm watching Buffy the Vampire Slayer Season 2 Episode 19. Episode 18 was about Buffy having this cold and was in the hospital um, and then she fought this demon who was killing children um, and we learned a little bit more about her backstory about her and her cousin. Um, I don't really know what to expect from this episode. Spike and Drusilla weren't in the previous episode. Angel was only in it briefly. And as we're getting towards the end of the season, I think there's 22, 23 episodes in the season, something like that. I'm very nervous as we get closer and closer what each episode will be like. Um, as I know from season one, the finale is usually a lot. Um, and by judging how this season's gone so far, I'm anxious every episode as to what's gonna happen. Will a cast member die? What's it gonna be like? Like, there's been so many big Big changes in this past second half of the season so uh, I'm definitely still enjoying watching it but it's making me more a little nervous as I care about these characters and each episode seems to be we find something new um, but thank you so much for sharing in this first time watching with me if you have any other suggestions for TV shows you think I should watch please comment below and if you're ever curious about what gear I use or what's on the bookshelf I've included a link in the description and if you want to have a say in what movies or TV shows I watch be sure to join patreon and as always please like a comment and subscribe to this channel and check back often for more awesome content. Someone make a list of like all the times the lotion poster is seen in this show. Makes me laugh every time. So I was wondering, you know the dance tomorrow night? Are you going? School dance? Oh. Girls ask boys? Yeah. And I thought maybe if you're free. He's asking her to Sadie Hawkins? That's the opposite of how it works. I don't think you're ready for that, Ralph. You're thinking too much. Maybe you need to be impulsive. Oh, she's encouraging Buffy to be impulsive? Okay. Okay, the angel thing went badly. I'm on board with that. Yes, very badly. I don't know, let me go. No, a person doesn't just wake up and stop loving somebody. Oh my god. Love is forever. What? I think that guy's seen too many rom coms. Oh my god. Yep. Bye. We weren't, I, I swear to god. Oh no. I don't know. I don't even know where I got it. Yeah, where'd it go? Okay, some things like. Affecting people in relationships. To thank me? Oh, this principal. I'm a truth seeker. And I keep looking until I know exactly how this is all your fault. He's not biased at all. Truth seeker, yet yeah, clearly going in with one sided objective. Not so fast, Missy. <sighs> you stink of lies. Have I mentioned I don't like this guy? Because that's an understatement. Sunnydale 1955, okay. Find some more about the school. Yeah, if it's always been a Hellmouth, then obviously weird things would have always been happening here. Okay. No, Buffy, look inside. Conversions and primary number clusters a big hoot. <laughs> Willow, so cute! It looks like she's wearing her pajamas and I love it. Giles! I made them laugh, did you hear? I did the joke thing. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah, she's so cute! You did indeed. This must be weird for Giles, though, to see her teaching Jenny's class. And, uh, I found this in her drawer. She the disc? It has a rose quartz. Oh. And it has healing powers. Aww. I thought she'd want you to have it. Aww. That's so sweet. Don't forget your assignments we did on Friday class. She's going flashback to 1955. Okay. Who are you taking? David said yes. Oh, you're kidding. He's so dreamy. Oh, dreamy. How are you enjoying that book I loaned you? The Hemingway. Very much. Mm-hmm. It's not the only thing he likes. This actress looks familiar. I can't remember her name, but she definitely looks familiar. Oh. Yeah, some things like affecting making the men more aggressive in relationships. All sounds like hell not black to me. Ah! No. 
What the frick was that? Cool, 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 cool. No big deal. You play cool. But when Buffy op oh god. Fabulous. Now we're Dr. Lawyer for the deceased. And if we can find out who the spirit is. Yeah, so there's a ghost at Sunnydale. I'm guessing one of either the student or the teacher and their relationship from 1955 that obviously I feel like didn't go well. No way people will ever understand except it. Is that what this is about? The ghosts are possessing people. A person doesn't just wake up one day and stop loving somebody. And there's the gun. Okay. No. Oh my gosh. It's a ghost gun? Ghosts have props? Yeah, he's seen yeah, it's the same thing. Oh god. Oh. So stu oh god. Oh no, no, he's not gonna remember what happened. He's the one that stopped them the other night. Yeah, oh my goodness. Or saw what happened the other night with that couple. Buffy's the one that stopped them. It's paradise. Big windows, lovely gardens. It'll be perfect when we want the sunlight to kill us. Ha 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 Like it's Spike. He's not wrong. I just love to see you smile, buddy. Yeah, they have to find a new lair now that the factory burnt down. I don't want to feel bad for Spike, but like, Angel is not making his life easier. Fights these couples keep having, it's sort of specific. Yeah. She's right, it's a pattern that doesn't fit with the way Miss Calendar died. Oh, he just misses her so much. Oh, school lunch. Hot dogs and spaghetti. I think that's more a uh, thing in the States. I don't know. I mean, maybe in like bigger cities, but when I went to high school, we didn't have like a cafeteria lunch. Oh my God, the food's turning to snakes. The food is turning to snakes. What the frick is going? Oh! <gasps> One of them just bit Cordelia's face. <laughs> Principal, you, you're up to this. You're a little snake. Oh my god. Nightmare. Nightmare fuel. I'm more scared of spiders than snakes, but either way, I don't want them for lunch. You can handle this job. If you feel that you can't, perhaps you'd like to take that up with the mayor. Yeah, so Snyder obviously is working with the police and the mayor, and he knows about the Hellmouth. No problem. This would be a piece of cake, right? Uh, I better start now, because they mean business. It's ghost time. Yeah. Okay, so they're gonna try and form this giant exorcism on these two ghosts at the school. Okay. But yeah, it's curious to think that Miss Calendar's ghost could be there as well. Dig myself a little burrow. That's a pretty dress, sweet. Oh, good. Drusilla's taking up gardening. I think this whole Slayer thing has run its course. I'm ready to focus my energy elsewhere. Oh, my. I don't think he means gardening. Special needs boy. I figure I should stick close to home. You and Drew can always use with a pair of hands. <laughs> Spike is gonna be mad. It's like as soon as I'm better, watch out. They always go for her face. So there was another episode where she got sliced across the face when uh, in season one. Yeah, and it's interesting to see Buffy kind of like time travel back to 1955 when this happened. And she's having, yeah, she's the only one who sees these flashbacks. Ah, oh, zombie face. That was well done though, that looks cool. Bye, oh God. Oh, quicksand? What? No! Is this is a Jumanji? What's happening? Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, God. That was close. Too close. Oh, dear. Yeah, and Cordelia was saying in the previous episode of that thing on Buffy's face, and now there's something on her face. Jenny could never be this neat. Nope. She's way too nice. 
Locusts? Bees? Beads? Run, 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 run! Oh my god, the whole school is covered in these bees or wasps or whatever it is. No matter why he did what he did, and no matter if he knows now that it was wrong and selfish and stupid, it is just something... I feel like Buffy is talking about Angel here, not uh, James. He kept up the buck. He's dead. Yeah, exactly, and he's stuck in this purgatory, just reliving the same... When he repossesses people, it's just the same interaction, he never gets forgiveness and can't move on. Yeah, it doesn't sound like Buffy will forgive Angel, even if his soul is reinstated. Not right now, anyway, maybe she'll get there, but... Doesn't sound like it's something she's willing to do. Are they trying to... Show Buffy that, like, she has to forgive Angel, because... Yeah, I'm very curious. There's definitely parallels between her and Angel's story and this story um, between the student and the teacher. I don't get it. Is she trying to be a big loner hero or something? No. Is, she this is that like Firefly when he's like, oh, big hero? I just want you to be able to have some kind of normal life. We can never have that. Oh, yeah, she's going to have to forgive him. I think about you every minute. Aww. It's so strange, yeah, it's definitely interesting to see them act out how they're really feeling, but possessed by these ghosts. If I can't be with you... Oh, no, 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 no! Don't walk away from me, bitch! <gasps> I mean, I know Angel's already dead, but still. Now give me the gun. Don't talk to me like I'm so stupid! He's bleeding? Jake. What? She's gonna realize what she did. Oh my god. And now the ghost will still be stuck there? Does that mean Buffy's gonna- Oh no 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 no. No 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 no. That means Buffy's gonna go to the music room? No! Buff- Angel will recover. Buffy won't. They must have heard the shot. They have to go in there and help her. Yeah, exactly. Angel will be fine. Ah! You thought I stopped Aww. So now he'll finally get his forgiveness? Oh. Yeah, it's such an ill. Oh, it's such a interesting way to have them reconnect but not really because it's not them oh man yeah and now the ghost is forgiven and he can move on because in this version he didn't actually kill her she was okay oh and then they reconnected oh shoot uh yuck. <laughs> it's gonna be awkward <gasps> yeah Back to reality. Well, Angel did save Buffy, but only like physically, it wasn't mentally Angel. Sorry. Try to have fun without me. I feel like Swag is just every day that he's stuck like this is just plotting and just gonna have this master revenge plan. Oh, I will. Oh, what does that mean? Oh, he can walk. Okay, he's doing better. Hmm. Spike's back. Yep. Oh, snap. Look out! So that was my first time watching Buffy the Vampire Slayer Season 2, Episode 19. Definitely a lot going on in this episode. Very interesting um, the way that they played up the story by having Buffy and Angel have this interaction but being possessed by ghosts. I felt like there was a lot of parallels between Buffy and Angel and between this teacher and student relationship um, as there's limitations of why they can be together and 
And when we find out that the student kills his teacher and that his ghost is just haunting the school and how Buffy is discussing about how she doesn't know she could ever forgive somebody who would do something like that and I felt like she was also implying the situation between her and Angel how she doesn't know how she could forgive him because even if his soul is reinstated he's basically crossed a line um, so it was interesting to finally see her because she hasn't really talked about it since it's happened um, or what Angel has done we haven't heard her say on screen and how she really feels about it um, and then when she's face to face with him physically even though she's possessed by this spirit James Angel does inadvertently save her life um, which is again interesting considering he's been trying to torture and cause her pain this whole time but again it wasn't really him he was possessed by the teacher and when Buffy is about to harm herself Angel steps in and saves the day and they have this sweet moment and then when the spirits are released they come back and kind of back to reality and realize that oh wait a minute this isn't what I thought was happening. What's going on? How did I get here? See a glimpse of the Buffy and Angel that they knew before and have that brief moment of when things were better and things were okay. And then they go back to reality and Angel's first response is, oh, I need to go out and do something incredibly vicious because how dare I have put myself in a situation where I was nice to this person. And, and then Buffy, I think it was just for lack of better terms driving the stake in her heart even further because she was close with him and then realized oh wait we can't do that anymore and you're trying to hurt me and you also killed Miss Calendar so yeah just it was bittersweet for sure but I thought it was well written the way that they played that out otherwise it just could have been a story of these ghosts that have taken over the school and you know are going after students who are in relationships and you know trying to reenact this night of the Sadie Hawkins dance but I like that they took that storyline and related it to the Buffy Angel storyline and you know made these characters have a scene that I don't think the audience thought would happen um, not that Buffy forgave Angel but maybe now that she's seen it from a different perspective I don't know. I don't know that I want her to forgive Angel either. And even Giles was talking about forgiveness and how he's saying, you know, you do it for that person. And yeah, it was it was very interesting to see the parallels between them. So I thought that was well done. And Principal Snyder was in this episode. He hasn't been in many episodes this season. So it was interesting to see him come back. And if we had any suspicions about him working with at the parent teacher night, um, had him working with the police or city officials or whoever, I think this just, you know, concrete proof of that's happening. Um, and then people are walking past the principal Snyder asking what's going on. He's like, oh, a water main broke. You know, same thing happened in another town, blah, blah, blah. Like, clearly he knows it's a hell mouth. He even said that. And then when the police officer is there and is like, you better get this under control. Like, the mayor won't be happy if people start finding out what's actually going on. So obviously the Hellmouth is known to at least some police officers and city officials and they're definitely trying to hide and cover it up. They're obviously trying to hide the dangers that lurk in Sunnydale and that the people who live there could be at risk. Um, and I think that's more why Principal Snyder has a vendetta against Buffy is that he knows she is the slayer and that she's out there and maybe Principal Snyder wants these bad things to be happening and is orchestrating it with government and police. So very curious to see. He was only in a few scenes, but definitely was rude to Buffy as per usual. And it's just, he's like, I'm a truth seeker, but then just fully blames Buffy for everything. And is like, I'm going to pin this on you, which doesn't sound like a truth seeker. It seems like you've made up your mind and you're just going with this one theory and the thought of a ghost at the school. And Giles obviously misses Jenny greatly. And I think the thought of Miss Calendar being at the school and even just like that brief connection with her, I think he was just so hopeful that that's what was going to happen, that he was like, well, no, it's Miss Calendar it's Miss Calendar like that's not you know review any other options which like Xander said usually he's like let's flesh out every possibility before we come to a decision whereas this obviously feelings and emotions kind of played into it and he was just so set on this Miss Calendar idea and then when bad things started to happen like Willow was stuck in this quicksand and the snakes at the cafeteria and lunch and Cordelia's face gets bitten and um, Willow is like you know Miss Calendar would never do anything this cruel which I think is very accurate even if she was back as a ghost and maybe we'll see that come back in later episodes or later seasons I don't know but 
I don't think her spirit would be that harmful intentionally and wouldn't be going after the people she was close with. So yeah, it was very interesting to see kind of where his mindset is at. Um, and then we also saw Willow is now teaching Miss Calendar's class. I don't know if that's going to be a permanent option or if they will find a new teacher to replace her eventually. Um, but I think Willow's just really having fun with it. And she's like, look Giles, I made them laugh. Like it was just a very rare moment of comedy in this episode and it was so sweet to see Willow be excited to teach and you know teaching things that she's passionate about and I think she's just really enjoying this role even if it is temporary um, and it definitely must have been bittersweet for Giles to see Willow in Miss Callender's classroom as a teacher knowing that obviously Miss Callender was there um, and I like how Willow is kind of taken on Miss Callender's research even if that's her way of grieving if that's her way of processing thing is kind of looking at all the websites that Miss Calendar was going to and all the research she was doing and now Willow's kind of bringing that information to the team um, which maybe Miss Calendar would have brought that knowledge now Willow has that so I really enjoyed that aspect of it as well. I liked learning more about the history of Sunnydale and yeah like if weird things have been going on at the school for a long time there's just a plethora of ideas and stories and ghosts and other things that could be happening just in the school itself so I'm very curious to see if we get another flashback like maybe something else happened later on um, but I thought that was really cool the way Buffy was the only one who could see these flashbacks as James the student ghost felt the strongest connection to Buffy and he's like pushing the books off the shelf and they both seem to be in pain from a relationship and obviously that was something Buffy could relate to and James could relate to so they had that connection. I don't really know what happened to the janitor. Um, he shot a teacher and it felt very real even if the gun was disappearing from a ghost um, possessing him but they didn't really tie any of that up so I'm curious to see if that'll come into play in further episodes or if they're just going to assume that the janitor would be charged and go to jail and that would be done with it. We didn't see Giles interaction with the police or anything with Miss Calendar um, in this episode or the previous episode so I'm guessing they have cleared him of any criminal charges or anything so I'm assuming Giles is just now dealing with the mental and emotional state of losing Miss Calendar and doesn't have to add on any police investigation or anything like that. Um, again, that might be hinting towards more of the police already know something is going on. They know there's vampires. They know there's something suspicious with this town. So maybe when Giles was like, I just came home and found her like this. I didn't do it. They were probably like, okay, it's weird, but we know that there's some suspicious stuff and they don't want Giles to know that they know, if that makes sense. Since the factory burnt down, Angel, Spike, and Drusilla need to find a new layer to hang out in. Um, and then it looked like Drusilla was like digging in the dirt and she also got a sense of what was going on in the school as she gets some like premonitions. She could feel this gate opening, like the hellmouth opening as the spirits were coming in. We didn't see the puppy in this episode and I don't want to know what happened to that. I'm just going to assume he's living his best life somewhere. Um, and and it definitely feels like there's this big shift between Spike and Angel as we saw at the end of the episode when Spike stands up and kicks his wheelchair away and it's just I feel like Spike is going for a marathon and not the sprint like he's playing the long game um, Angel might be a bit more impulsive and just I need to do something reckless right now where Spike has had his soul taken away for a lot longer um, and Angel is new to being a vampire again if that makes sense. Um, so Spike's like you know you want to show off you're just gonna make me angrier and angrier and I'm just gonna have more time to plot. I'm sure he has something there's no way he's not going to seek revenge. Um, I would be very surprised if he just lets this slide so now that he's up and seems to be at full health um, I'm curious to see what curious and very afraid at the same time of what his plan is if he's going to Buffy is the one thing Angel is trying to destroy the most. Will Spike now be protective of Buffy? Yeah, I'm very curious how that, just to get back at Angel basically, not because he genuinely cares about her, but I'm very curious to see what evil plan he has created in the however time span, at least a few months uh, that he's been in this wheelchair and has just been, you know, like evil planning his revenge. So yeah, and especially with the end of the season coming up, 
ah, it's just making me very nervous, this like perfect storm of all these things coming together. I like the uh, makeup and special effects when we saw that guy had a zombie face, the student, um, really cool, and especially he had his Letterman jacket on and just like this high school zombie. Uh, I thought that was well done. It seems like they're upping their game on um, like special effects and makeup and stuff. Like We don't see a ton of it lately, but when we do see it, it seems to be very well done. I thought it was a good episode and I enjoyed that twist of having the ghosts possess Angel and Buffy and have them have that interaction that they probably wouldn't have had if they weren't possessed by these ghosts. Um, and yeah, I'm curious to see if this has changed Buffy's perspective on forgiveness, relationships, anything like that. If Angel ever gets his soul reinstated. Buffy did shoot Angel in this episode, but physically her it was the ghost who was pulling the trigger basically and we knew Angel would survive um, as he's a vampire, but yeah, and then just the thought of Buffy accidentally hurting herself when she's possessed by somebody. It was all oh, those were a tense few moments. But luckily the spirit intervened and prevented Buffy from doing something like that because that would have just been I know there's been a lot of twists, but that would have been very harsh to watch. Um, but thank you so much for sharing in this first time watching with me. If you have any other suggestions for TV shows you think I should watch, please comment below. And as always, please like, comment, and subscribe to this channel, and check back often for more awesome content. She the disc? <laughs> oh, dreamy! The ghosts are possessing people. Hot dogs and spaghetti. The food is turning to snakes. What the frick is going- Oh! <gasps> Oh my. I don't think he means gardening. Ooh, zombie face.